Why do plumbing companies charge service fees? Is that even legal? How old are you? 22. Actually it is, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a few reasons why it is legal, and hang around to the end, I'm gonna tell you the reason every plumbing company should be charging service fees. That'll be $80. Oh, okay. Sha, thank you kindly. Will that do? Certainly will. Thank you, Seth. Hey, thank you. Guys, I'm sorry I was late. I got here as soon as I wanted to. Let's go ahead and jump into this. If you have not done so yet, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And if you've ever heard anybody complain about this, do me a favor, share this video with them. I'd love to hear their comments and your comments too. So first of all, plumbers are expensive. I don't just mean for you, I mean me as a company owner. If I hire a plumber, it's not cheap to do that anymore. And plumbers are constantly job hopping. They're always looking for something better. Now, we try to be the best. We want to train them. We want to train them to be the best. And we want to create a culture here that people want to be a part of. But plumbers aren't cheap. And I don't know if y'all know this, but since the beginning of the year, materials have gone up outrageously. Plumbing, the PVC, plumbing, the water heaters, plumbing. You attach plumbing to anything, the price has gone up. If you're a plumber or if you're in plumbing, you own a plumbing company, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a homeowner, I want you to think about this. The plastics, the things that y'all can't get. I mean, look at the food shelves these days. We're having a hard time getting anything and our prices have gone up. Just to stock our vans costs us 30 to 40% more than it used to because of the cost of materials. But that's just the materials. Also, the cost of the plumber has gone up. There's more people getting out of the trades every year because now every kid feels like they need to go to college. So instead of getting in the trades, they're going to college and then they can't get a job. Hmm, that's kind of crazy. Instead, why not send them to trade school where they could actually get out, learn something and do what they actually learn. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. So let me tell you how expensive plumbers are. I remember when I first started out, Plumbing was so slow and I was doing everything I could to make the phone ring and I actually got a phone call from my wife. She said, Roger, we can't make payroll today. Now, it was actually on a Friday and I only had one person, it was an apprentice, not even me. I wasn't even taking home a check. But when she told me that, we were trying to figure out what to do. I told her to call anybody who owed us money, but also I had a five gallon jar in the corner of my bedroom full of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. I said, baby, look, carry that down to the bank, cash it in, and it'll be enough. She said, Roger, it won't be enough. Sorry, pig. Well, luckily it was. So believe it or not, I made payroll by breaking into my piggy bank one time. Plumbers are that expensive, and you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do to keep them around. Now, that's when I first started. It's not quite that bad now, but sometimes it gets pretty close. Even when the plumbing company is slow, the customers get taken care of, the plumbers get taken care of, the supply house is getting taken care of, the office staff gets taken care of. You know who doesn't? Sometimes it's the company owner. So it's expensive to be in the plumbing business, but I know that's a choice I chose to make. Now, remember, I want you to stay till the end because I'm gonna give you the number one reason that every plumbing company should charge a service fee, not just plumbing companies, Electricians, HVAC techs, anybody who sends somebody out to your house should charge a service fee. And I'm gonna explain it to you at the end. And I want you to tell me whether you disagree or whether you agree. So what about option number two, Roger? What if I don't want you to come out? What if I don't want an expensive plumber? What if I want an inexpensive plumber? Well, you can get them. They're normally called handymen. If you don't find you handsome, you should at least find you handy. Dear Lord. What man has brought together that no pothole ran asunder. Are they normally just plumbers that say, hey, I do plumbing, they advertise on Facebook? You know, P-L-U-M-M-I-N-G? I've seen them. Here's the deal, you can get people like that. Is it worth putting the safety of your family in? When they say plumbers protect the health of the nation, that's a serious statement. Plumbers help keep families and homeowners from getting diseases by diseases getting into their water system. Cross connections can make people sick and kill people. Some handymen don't even know what cross connections are. You know, I couldn't make one of those. I don't even know what they are. Well, if you don't know what it is, you can't keep from doing it either. Here's the thing. 
you can get as inexpensive a plumber as you want. It's probably somebody who started plumbing for a little while couldn't make it in the field. So they just decided, look, I'll just start advertising that I can do plumbing. So that's what you get. Or you get a plumber who's working on the side. Let me explain to you how they do things cheaper. They don't have overhead. They don't have a shop. They don't have insurance. They don't get licensed. They don't pull permits. They don't do things right. They take every shortcut they can. You want the cheaper plumber? You can find him. But one of our mottos is, we repair what your handyman fixed. Hate to say it, but it's true. And not only that, sometimes when you get a cheaper plumber, or you think you get a cheaper plumber. I used to have people call around all the time, what do you charge per hour? What do you charge per hour? What do you charge per hour? Here's where that's not a good system. I remember in the beginning, people would call me and say, how much do you charge per hour? Well, to be honest, we don't even do TNM anymore. Now we do flat rate pricing, straightforward pricing, something like that. And here's why. I've been plumbing long enough, I can normally tell you, hey, if we have to crawl under your house, tunnel under your house and fix a leak here, I can give you that price. Now, we still may run into things. If that leak that we found under your house from above is buried in concrete, and we have to come in and chip that concrete out, well, you're gonna have to pay extra for that. And we make sure you understand that in the notes, but you don't want us to put that in every single estimate because what would it be like if we just charged everybody $500 extra and we didn't have to do that? We wanna make sure people only pay for what they're getting. Now, straightforward pricing gives you an upfront price, you know what it is. So why is it not good to call around and ask everybody's price per hour? Well. That's time and material. And time and material is, we're gonna charge you $100 an hour, we're gonna charge you 150, we're gonna charge you 200. The $100 an hour is gonna send out the most least experienced plumber. What if it takes him three hours? That's $300. But you were saving money because you got it at $100 an hour. What if company number two is 150 an hour and he's there two and a half hours? Well. Now you gotta look at that. So company two's $150 an hour. They're there two and a half hours. That's $375. Still a little more than expensive than company A that was there three hours for 300. See what I mean? What about the third company? If you call the third company at $200 an hour and he knocks it out in one hour, that's $200. That's gonna be cheaper than the 100, cheaper than the 150. Now it's $200. Guys, experience is worth it. When you're just trying to find the cheapest price, you're normally gonna get the worst service. I hate to say it, but it's true. So when you look at it that way and kind of figure the cost per call, now what about company A? Maybe this inexperienced guy didn't stock the right stuff on his truck. He doesn't know about that. He forgot to order the stuff he used yesterday. So now he's making multiple trips to the supply house. At $100 an hour, that's gonna add up pretty quick. Where a more experienced plumber is gonna know, hey, I used that yesterday, I use these every day, I'm gonna pick up some more of these this morning before I ever go on a call. That is what experience gets you. Now, let's get back to the service fee. Why is that so important? Well, companies that don't just send out a hundred dollar an hour guy, they literally, they are planning on getting in, getting the job done and getting it taken care of. Now, a lot of people say, Roger, I don't wanna pay a service fee. Okay, you don't. Call a plumbing company that doesn't charge them. But here's my thing. I'm sending out experienced plumbers. I'm sending out a truck that normally has most of the materials that we need on it to do almost every job. So when we pull up, there's somebody there that can actually look at your job, give you a fair price and do it right then. Now, a lot of you say, well, I wanna call a lot of plumbing companies and figure out who's gonna be the cheapest and figure it out that way. That's great. But you know what? Somebody still has to pay that plumber to go out there and it shouldn't always be me. I've been in business. These plumbers are educated, they're well-trained, they've invested a lot of money in their education and their tools. I've invested a lot in their materials and their insurance and then bigger tools that they may need. That is why a service fee is so important. Think about it. If I'm sending a guy to your house, say it's 20 minutes away. It's 20 minutes away. It's 20 minutes for him to, to look at your house, look at the problem, put together a price and give that to you. Say you don't like it and he's gotta come back. That's an hour, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Well, you know what? I've got to pay for that guy. And he's not out working on another job that we may have turned down to do yours. So somebody needs to pay for that. It doesn't need to be me paying for him every time. I'm putting that service there and available. And 
you trust us enough by our reputation and everything we've done that hopefully when we're there, you realize, look, I don't want to have to take off another day. I believe that Roger and his guys are going to do the right thing. To me, that's why a service fee is something every residential service provider should be charging. It keeps people from just calling 20 different plumbing companies and say, hey, I'm going to see who's going to give me the cheapest price. Tell me up front, hey, I want the cheapest price. I'll give you their number, and then hopefully you call me back to fix it when they mess it up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Tell me, leave me a comment down below. Would you rather have a good plumbing company that charges a service fee or a bad one that doesn't? That's kind of the way I see it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And if you know anybody that hates paying service fees, send this to them. I'd love to hear what they think. And I'd like your opinion too. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.